Well, trauma and grief counselors arrived here at Chardon High School within one hour of the shooting one year ago today. They had 60 people on site at the middle school. And News Channel 5's Dave Arnold recently spoke with those who were here one year ago today to see how they are one year later. It's, it's a tragedy that you never think your kid would be involved in. You never know. I mean, it's just uh, horrific. A Chardon morning unlike any other before it. Parents kept their children ever so close. Disbelief mixed with relief in their eyes as they held their children's hands closer to their hearts. Possibly unaware of it then, it was the first day of a healing journey that continues today at the one-year mark of a community grieving together. I just remember being profoundly moved and my heart like just breaking open as I watched these parents try to make sense out of what had just happened, trying to figure out how they can best support their kids. Kate Biddle and her team of specialists were on Chardon's campus to offer help almost instantly last year. As the assistant vice president of clinical services at Beachbrook, a leading behavioral health agency, she was on the front lines of helping Chardon families. That anxiety was, you know, just you could feel it everywhere and it um, it was a profound experience it really makes you pay attention I like what Joe Burgett says about you go home and you really hug your kids you know Chardon superintendent Joe Burgan has seen each child process their grief differently for every child brings a different suitcase to school some are empty some are full some have lost parents some have lost other family members and in the event like that stirs all those emotions back up the counseling Beachbrook and others have offered have made great strides in the healing process. The Chardon community grateful. Students like Ashley DeShetler sure of their future. Chardon is a school that can do anything and I have so many great friends. My senior class is so close. While the sense of time passed at the one year mark may be unique to each student, those close to them listening stresses patience in their grief. There are many kids that are really struggling with you know how to make sense out of this and what it means to them personally and that it has knocked some of the kids off balance and it's going to take a long time for them to truly heal this isn't just done in a year on your side in chardon dave arnold news channel five and being out here from early this morning the one thing i take away from being around these students in this community there are better days ahead for these high schoolers here in Chardon, starting with today.